We became friends with Miss Fox because she was speak Italian. Right. Lots Italian. And uh, yeah, I was the <laughs> speak Italian too. And your husband too. Your husband, my husband, he was come up, pick me up at night. When I was there until midnight, he was come up, pick me up with the car. And he became a friend with her, with her uh, husband. John but Manigini was his last name. He was a very wealthy man and he enjoyed the opera and then he met Carlos and then he married Zor. <laughs> yeah, he married Zor and they went uh, all over. And I was there. She came forward, but I'm a butterfly. This, yeah, Carlos. Two performances was scheduled. But the, the people were in demand so much for, for, uh, to see the opera, then they planned to do one more performance. And uh, during the performance, all the, the media was downstairs, all the photographers. I said, why all these people are here? I'm from the, to, to the dressing room there. Well, I said, you have to make a little, I need the, you, you know, the star, she need a room, she don't want to see all these people. Well, they moved a little more uh, on the side of that. Then uh, that night was when, uh, you know, she never paid enough of the, um, the dues what she was supposed to pay and, uh, and uh, what do you call that? Uh, and, um, like, uh, and in the industry, they had to pay so much percent. She paid for two performers, but they find out that she wasn't doing the third performance. Uh, uh, besides, she owned a lot of money on these people. They took her on the court. And then uh, the last night, all these um, people from the media and everything weren't there to take a pitch because uh, they know there was the three persons they were, they carried this subpoena to give it to her. Well, you know, the, the last act was something beautiful. And, you know, all the people applaud and made her come on the stage again two, three times. When she came back, I was right there, there was full of people, and these three men were there. And the, and the father was together with this uh, industry, industry, like, the father has the subpoena. The when Maria came back, Maria, you did a wonderful job with our food. And he tried to put another paper in your dress. <laughs> and at the same time, he gave it all the, the flower. Give her the flower, and with this hand, she was trying to put, you know, you know the dress was done yet. She was trying to stick that uh, subpoena of yet. No, nobody, she started screaming. Nobody touched me, nobody touched me, nobody. Everybody had to go, you know, back, no, no. And she ran to the room, the dressing room. I was there, you know, with the door already open, you know, ready in front of the door. And uh, she came in the room and they, they threw the subpoena on the floor uh, with my feet. I threw out of the paper, I closed the door. <laughs> And you know, and then my husband was there too, because he was with the, the dear husband and they were talking and everything. And uh, we were there and did, and did after two o'clock in the morning. We can't come out because they weren't going away. They weren't aware until she was come out from the opera. But she never came out until the two thirty. Then we went, <laughs> we went out, I went back door there, I'm so sorry. <laughs>